Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. So lovely to speak to you both. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. Um, huge fan of this film. In fact, I really love sort of the dance movie genre, whether it's, you know, Billy Elliot or right through to Black Swan. I was just wondering what appealed to you about being involved with this film, which seems to take that kind of genre film and bring a whole new twist to it. You know, it's incredibly contemporary and also goes to some quite dark places. So what appealed to you both about working on this film? <laughs> um, no, I mean, there's so many things that we go through. Uh, I mean, both of our characters that what we follow them, you know, on their journey and, and what I learned a lot. I'm not making much sense, <laughs> but um, I, I the, the, like the themes of redemption, the yeah. themes of like the female friendship and how it, it doesn't have to be. I mean, obviously you see it, it becomes this, it, it doesn't always have to be toxic. Like the world doesn't have to be as toxic as like, like the men have made it, you know what I mean? Like it's not to be generalized, but um, we see in this film, like the, the, the instinct is for these characters to love each other, but they're like taught to hate each other. Yeah if that makes sense. And it's kind of like breaking that down throughout the film and the trials and tribulations of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I couldn't believe, I, I actually didn't realize before I watched it that neither of you had had professional dance training. So I just cannot believe that you managed to put in these performances. So I was wondering what were some of the kind of the highlights and challenges of having to kind of do all that choreography alongside obviously your normal acting roles. Yeah, I mean, every time it was really hard, but I don't know, every- it's very informative. Yeah, about where we were in our own bodies, but, and yeah, I learned a lot from that. But... Every time what? No, every time I just was able to get a little step further in the choreography mm. it was a huge accomplishment mm -hmm. for me or whenever I would be able to be like, showing myself compassion for not being able to do it yeah. properly. Um, there were so many little victories along the way that mm. it wasn't really about the bigger thing. It was just like every step of the way, staying, you know, keeping the stamina no up. What did I say? Every step of the hey, way. Hey, every step of the way. <laughs> did not mean to do that. No, yeah. there's, yeah, the, the mental and physical challenges, just like I went hour by hour to, <laughs> to try yeah. and get through it because it was really challenging and I was not prepared. For how difficult it was going to be it's also like having the, the patience and compassion for yourself because like i'm a really impatient person and i'd see these professional dancers doing things with such ease and i'm like oh i just want to be able to do that like why aren't i remembering the next step or like yeah. why can't i just but then it's like okay remember like this is like very new for you and you're doing so well for like not even really knowing what is going on half the time you need and, to like unteach your body yeah from and like different sports. yeah because i was a i was a a whole other athlete like in my previous life within this life so like <laughs> to unlearn all of these other things that my body had just like muscle memory you know like mm -hmm. keeping my right shoulder down I was a tennis player my instinct is to do this like all of these like little little things and and all the different muscle groups and how they work in harmony with each other and it was just like being really really patient with yourself every every single day and yeah. and like allowing giving yourself the room to mess up yeah allowing exactly. those margins for error yeah you don't learn anything by being perfect, you know? Mm -mm. And that's what, kind of what this film is about. Like, yeah, you know? <laughs> just and in. just very quickly, you know, it obviously is, you know, a dance film, but there's so many layers to it. And what do you hope people will take away from all these other aspects, sexual awakening, dealing with loss, so on and so forth? And nothing's linear. Yes. Like healing. healing. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> sexuality isn't linear like it's fluid it's love is love yeah it's what you said earlier was so beautiful I don't remember oh <laughs> what did I say oh. no it's about instinct and and, and yeah. emotions it's not about the gender or it's not about the ego it's not about like it's like doing what feels good for your soul you know and yeah. like and like because that's really all that you have at the end of the day you know and like being with who you want to be with like loving who you who you love and and like pursuing what you want to pursue it's like not about While supporting each other and yeah and like it's, it's all about the support because you know you can have everything in the world you can have a big beautiful house and a million medals and accolades and you're the greatest dancer ever but no one to come home to and like it's that makes me sad I don't know that's what Kate experienced and she sees M and she's like wow the only thing that mattered to me I, I lost because I cared more about like the prize you know when really the true prize was like friendship yeah, and in a piece. 
I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me. And it was really wonderful to speak to you both. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers. Thank Bye. you.